Hey guys, my name's Eve Goes Boom and welcome to today's video. So, I'm gonna be doing a top 10 list, which is something that I haven't done in a very, very long time. I think the last top 10 video I did was the uh, top 10 coolest FNAF Easter eggs, which I did like four months ago. So yeah, the channel's been on a bit of a break from the top 10 videos, but I really, really miss making them. So today, we're gonna be making another one, but Today's top 10 video is going to be a little bit different from previous ones. So in the past, I based my top 10 lists on my own personal opinion on things about FNAF, like uh, most underrated characters, most annoying characters, and worst jump scares. But today, instead of doing a list based on my opinions, I'm going to be doing a list based on the opinion of you guys, the fans. So today's video is going to be the top 10 most popular FNAF characters. But how is this video going to work exactly? Well, a couple of days ago, I made an online poll where the topic was, who is your favorite FNAF character? And I put every single FNAF character on the poll, except for the characters from FNAF World. So all of the characters from FNAF 1, 2, 3, 4, Sister Location, Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria Simulator, and Ultimate Custom Night were on the poll. So then I posted the poll on my Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube, and then I asked all of you awesome FNAF fans out there to fill out the poll for me so that way I could determine from the votes in the poll who the most popular FNAF characters because the ones who are the most popular were the ones that got the most votes. So it's been a couple of days now since the poll has been up and I haven't yet looked at the results but I'm going to do that now and tell you guys who the top 10 most popular FNAF characters are based on the opinions of the FNAF fans who filled out my poll. So just looking at the poll here it seems like we got 9,166 votes and that is a lot that is awesome okay so we're gonna look at the top 10 now and find out who the top 10 most popular FNAF characters are however before I look at the poll results guys I want to make a few guesses as to who I think is going to be in the top 10 just based on what I know about the community and the characters that people seem to love so I undoubtedly think that Foxy is going to be on the list because he's always been really really popular uh, also maybe Mr. Hippo since Ultimate Custom Night came out he got really popular with his uh, long stories and such. Um, honestly, I just think there's going to be a lot of Foxies on there. Probably Rockstar Foxy, maybe Funtime Foxy, um, the Puppet, maybe? I don't really know. Besides that, I'm not really sure, guys. So anyway, let's stop stalling. Let's look at the top 10 results and go down this list. All right, let's start off with number 10. So the 10th most popular character is Lolbit with 170 votes. Okay, this is actually really, really surprising. I actually had no idea that Lolbit was popular, like, at all. I mean, I quite like Lolbit as a character. It's kind of mysterious and really cool looking with a really cool design. But I honestly didn't know that Lolbit was popular among the community. That's actually quite interesting I'm actually curious to know now why people like Lolbit so much because I haven't really seen that many people rave on about Lolbit I actually thought Lolbit was quite an underrated character, but <laughs> this poll proved me wrong I guess I was wrong about that because Lolbit is well liked enough to be the 10 most popular character in all of FNAF compared to all of the other animatronics from FNAF 1 to Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria Simulator and Ultimate Custom Night. That was a huge surprise for me indeed. I was expecting this list to start off a bit more, I don't know, predictable, like maybe Golden Freddy or the Puppet or something, but we started off with Lolbit, and that's pretty crazy. So with these results, I'm just going to give my own personal opinions of the characters. So like I said, I think Lolbit's a really cool character. It's actually really cool to see that some of the characters like Lolbit and Deedee, who made their debut in FNAF World, have actually had a bigger role in later games. So that's cool to see. So we don't see Lolbit that often, but when we do, it's always a nice surprise. Okay, guys, let's go on to number nine. Okay, so in ninth place, we have Freddy Fazbear with 178 votes. Ah, here we go. Freddy Fazbear, the star of the franchise and the star of the show. It would have been a crime to not have Freddy in the top 10 most popular characters because, well, he's the face of the franchise. Everyone loves Freddy Fazbear. So he made it to ninth place, um, so that's not bad. I think that's a pretty good spot for Freddy because I definitely think there are quite a few characters that are more liked than Freddy, but Freddy himself definitely deserves to be in the top 10. Well, at least one of the Freddy should be in the top 10, but I think it's best for the classic Freddy to be in it. So just for my personal opinion, I've always loved Freddy Fazbear as a character. He's very scary, he's got a cool design, and I love most of the variations of him. He's just a very good, well-rounded character. He could be a very kid-friendly character like in FNAF World, or he could be spooky and scary like in the main horror games. 
He's just an awesome character overall. Now in 8th place, we have Mangle with 180 votes. Now Mangle is another character that I really think deserves to be on this list. Everything about Mangle is cool. Mangle has a cool design, Mangle has cool mechanics in FNAF 2 and Ultimate Custom Knight. She has really good voice acting in Ultimate Custom Knight as well. And just out of all of the toy animatronics, I think Mangle is just the best one overall because, like I said, she has a really cool design. And she's also kind of a sympathetic character because, you know, Mangle's all broken up and she's the most broken out of all the Foxy characters. I mean, we thought the original Foxy was broken in Fun of Freddy's 1. And then when Fun of Freddy's 2 came out we saw Mangle, we were like, geez, compared to Mangle, Foxy had a pretty good deal in FNAF 1. <laughs> but yes, I can certainly agree with you guys on this one. Mangle is definitely one of the best characters of FNAF 2 and she definitely deserves a spot on this list. Now in 7th place we have Circus Baby with 183 votes. Yep, Circus Baby is another character that I think deserves to be on this list. She's another really awesome character. I really really love Circus Baby's voice and this is just my opinion but I think Circus Baby and also Scrap Baby her variation has some of the best voice acting in all of FNAF. I really really think that Heather Masters, the voice actress for Baby, does a really really good job with her. She does a good job with both Circus Baby and Scrap Baby. She's really good at sounding innocent and sweet with Circus Baby, and then kind of creepy and menacing with Scrap Baby. She could do all the different tones very well. Honestly, I think the only downside of Circus Baby is that she is kind of underrated. I mean, she does talk a lot in Sister Location, but we don't really see her that much. We kind of just hear her from off screen a lot of the time, because I'm pretty sure in Sister Location, I mean, we don't really actually get to see her in person until Night 5, when she's been decommissioned in the parts and service room. I kind of wish it was just utilized a bit more in the game. Not necessarily as an enemy because Circus Baby was always unique in that way that she wasn't really an enemy to you in this location but rather kind of a twisted sort of ally in a way. It wasn't until Ultima Custom Night and also the recent Help Wanted where she becomes an enemy and that just makes her even more interesting. And also I know that I've pretty much said this about every single animatronic so far on this list but Circus Baby also has a really really nice design. I think the fun times in general have the best designs out of all the characters and all of the games but Circus Baby herself is just really really cool. She's one of the few animatronic human characters besides BB, JJ and Ballora which also makes are pretty unique. In 6th place, we have Bonnie with 215 votes. Now in my personal opinion, Bonnie should have been in 4th place if you know what I mean. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding guys, but it's really awesome to see Bonnie in 6th place. Um, so Bonnie is the second classic FNAF 1 character to be on this list, the first being Freddy in ninth place. And it's really cool to see Bonnie on it. I mean, he is considered by most people to be the scariest character in the original Fun of Freddy's. I mean, he's got a really scary jump scare, he's given those really creepy death screens, and also even Scott Cawthon himself considers him to be one of the scariest characters. So much so that Bonnie used to give Scott Cawthon nightmares back in the day. But I'm not gonna lie guys, unpopular opinion coming your way, but I never found Bonnie to be that scary. Like to me, he always looked kinda goofy and funny. That's why on my channel I always gave Bonnie a very goofy, silly personality and voice, because to me, he just looks like he wants to have a good time. He looks very happy and goofy. He doesn't look scary to me at all. Except for in his creepy death screen where he's got like the empty black eyes and you can only really see his face and not his ears or his body. That's creepy, but in the actual game itself, he always just looks kind of goofy, but that's just my opinion, guys. But good old Barney the Bunny does deserve to be in sixth place. Rock on, Barney! Now in fifth place, we have the Puppet with 228 votes. Now as much as I really hate the music box mechanic, the Puppet as a character is really, really cool, really, really creepy, and also quite mysterious. So the Puppet is obviously one of the biggest characters, story and lore-wise, within the series, being responsible for a lot of the reasons why the story of Fun of Freddy's even exists. The Puppet brought most of the animatronics to life, and speed had in most of the story's events. And just for that alone, Puppet is a very interesting and intriguing character, and he's always been very, very mysterious. And I quite like mysterious characters because, especially in a series like Final Fantasy Freddy's where there's so many questions that need to be answered, Puppet is just one of those characters that is always on the community's minds, and we can see that with these poll results. Now excluding the Nightmare animatronics, I think Puppet has one of the creepiest designs out of all the characters in all the games. I remember the first time I ever saw that Puppet teaser, where it's completely black at first, but when you brighten it up, you can see the Puppet in the background, and I remember seeing that and thinking that was the creepiest 
scariest thing I'd ever seen in my life and I was not looking forward to facing off against the puppet when FNAF 2 came out but luckily in the actual game itself puppet isn't too scary because it spends most of its time in the music box it's kind of just more annoying to deal with because of the music box itself but regardless I really do agree with you guys on this one puppet is actually one of my favorite characters too and I just love him overall he's a really awesome character and I'm looking forward to seeing how creepy he's gonna be in FNAF help wanted seriously that screenshot of him walking down the hallway is creepy as heck Okay, let's go on to the next one, guys. Okay, in fourth place, we've got Lefty with 231 votes. Okay, so this is the first one since Lolpith that actually surprised me. I didn't realize Lefty was so popular. And Lefty is more popular than Puppet? Really? That's really surprising. I'm not going to lie, guys. Um, so in my opinion, I think Lefty is probably the best out of the Rockstar animatronics. I mean, Lefty is the only one that really plays a role in the story and obviously has a connection to the Puppet. So it's pretty funny that Puppet is fifth and Lefty is fourth. But honestly, I really thought Puppet would have been more popular than Lefty. But regardless, both of them are really cool and interesting characters. But yeah, this one really surprised me, even more so than Lolbit. But uh, although in my opinion, I didn't think Lefty would be in the top 10, uh, I'm willing to accept this just because kind of like the puppet, like Lefty is just mysterious and interesting and plays a big role in the story, especially in Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria Simulator, and it just kind of ties into the puppet's arc within the story, and that in itself makes Lefty a good character. Alright, let's go on to the next one, guys. In third place, we've got Springtrap with 238 votes. Okay, here we go. We're back into the characters that are definitely expected to be on this list. I'm sure most people probably guessed that Springtrap would be on it. Springtrap has always been really, really popular. One of the reasons being, you know, just like the puppet and Lefty, Springtrap is a character that plays a huge role in the story because, of course, he's basically Purple Guy, aka William Afton. Uh, Springtrap is always one of those characters that entices people. And because essentially he is the main villain or the main antagonist for the series overall, at least in terms of the story, Springtrap is just one of those characters that people are naturally going to love. And I'm actually one of those people, guys. Like, I find villain characters to be very, very interesting. Although with Springtrap, I'm not going to lie, guys, another unpopular opinion coming. I actually prefer Plush Trap to Springtrap. That's why I feature Plush Trap so much in my videos. But Springtrap is really, really cool too. Like, the entire premise of Springtrap and like how he's basically the downfall of Purple Guy guy after he got stuck inside the spring bonnie suit is really really satisfying and really really awesome and also because springtrap is one of the few really identifiable characters from fnaf 3 because all of the phantoms are basically reskins of characters from previous games springtrap was the one character who was new and fresh and of course so he's going to be the one that sticks out in people's minds when they think of fun of freddy's 3 so just all of that stuff combined makes him a really awesome character a really awesome villain and really makes him deserve a spot on this list. So next in second place, we have Golden Freddy with 251 votes. Ah, Golden Freddy, another one of my personal favorites. If I had to pick some favorites that have been on this list so far, it'd be Golden Freddy and the Puppet. Although, I didn't actually know that Golden Freddy was popular enough to be in second place. That is really awesome. So I know I repeat myself a lot in this video, but I think Golden Freddy is appealing to people for the same reasons as Springtrap and the Puppet and Lefty, because Golden Freddy is a very story and lore-heavy character. He plays a big role in the story and is very mysterious and creepy at the same time. Golden Freddy has always had a very interesting history in Final Fantasy Freddy's. Like, when he first appeared in the first Final Fantasy Freddy's game, his name was originally Yellow Bear, but the fans kept calling him Golden Freddy, and because of that, Scott changed his name to be officially Golden Freddy when Final Fantasy Freddy's 2 came around because, as you see in the FNAF 2 Custom Night, Golden Freddy's name was officially set as Golden Freddy, even though it was originally Yellow Bear. But yes, Golden Freddy has been the center of many mysteries and controversies among the FNAF franchise and the FNAF community, and to this day, we still don't know everything about Golden Freddy. However, we do know a lot more now than we did back in the FNAF 1 to 4 days. We do have a bit more of an insight into this character, especially with Ultimate Custom Night, that seems to give us a really good idea of what Golden Freddy is really like but there's still a lot of mysteries that we don't quite know about him. And even though it hasn't been confirmed just yet, I really hope that Golden Freddy makes some kind of appearance in the upcoming FNAF Help Wanted, but we'll just have to see about that. But yeah, Golden Freddy definitely is one of my favorites, and I'm really happy to see that you guys love him too. All right, guys, are you ready for the number one? I've got a good idea of who it's going to be, so I highly doubt that I'm going to be surprised. 
But yeah, okay guys, get ready. Let's go on to number one. Okay, <laughs> so in first place we have Foxy with 260 votes. I wish I could act surprised that Foxy was number one. But let's be real, everyone expected Foxy to be number one. Ever since the first Five Nights at Freddy's, Foxy has always been insanely popular. And for good reason too. I'm guessing that there's several reasons that makes Foxy so popular. So if you look at the four main characters from FNAF 1, Freddy, Bonnie, Chica and Foxy, Foxy is the most unique out of all of those characters. Freddy, Bonnie and Chica all have very similar body shapes, especially Freddy and Bonnie. Freddy and Bonnie are pretty much identical besides their heads, and Chica also has a very similar body shape to them, and they all have the same role, they're just members of the band of the pizzeria, but Foxy is very different. He has a very different head and body shape, like, he is very thin compared to the rest of the animatronics, which are quite big and bulky in comparison to Foxy's smaller size. Also, Foxy isn't one of the main band members, instead, he is a pirate fox, which is quite unique in and of itself, and he also has his own attraction called Pirate's Cove. And what makes Foxy and Pirate's Cove even more interesting is that the Pirate's Cove is out of order, which means that there's something wrong with Foxy, and when FNAF 1 first came out, we had no real idea what that was, like what was wrong with Foxy, and even still to this day, we don't really 100% know why Foxy was out of order. There's a lot of hints and clues that are implied in the other games, but we never really got a 100% confirmation why Foxy exactly was out of order. But yeah, I think just like Mangle, Foxy was a character that people could really sympathize with. A lot of people made songs and SFMs about how sad Foxy was because he was out of order, and that he was very different to the other characters. And I think in a weird way, people kind of related to him in that way. But yeah, so with the cool and unique design that he has, the very unique role in the pizzeria, and the kind of sympathetic role he has with being shut down, and being stuck in this pirate cove with the curtains closed, and also with the fact that he is very, very terrifying in the first game, how he just runs to your office and jump scares you. That makes him a very memorable and very interesting character, especially compared to the other three characters who were kind of more similar to each other, whereas Foxy was quite unique. So yeah guys, I can't say I'm surprised by that, but yeah, Foxy is number one in the top 10 most popular characters. So yeah guys, what did you think of this list? Did you expect these guys to be on this list? Uh, in my opinion, I think eight of them were people that I expected to be on here. The only ones that I didn't expect were Lolbit and Lefty. I really didn't expect those ones, but, you know, Foxy, Mangle, Golden Freddy, Springtrap, Puppet. They're all characters that I would expect to be on the top ten list. Um, yeah, guys, but let me know. What did you think of this video? Did you kind of like it how I interacted with you guys a bit more? And instead of showing my opinions, well, I did show my opinions, but this video was mostly about your guys' opinions. So, did you like this kind of video? And if you did, maybe I'll do more like this in the future. And if I do, keep an eye out for my polls that I make because you could have an impact on my future videos. And also let me know in the comments below guys, who are your top 10 favorite FNAF characters? I'd like to hear your guys' opinions. Alright guys, so uh, please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Please subscribe to see more top 10 videos in the future. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye everyone.